Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So today is a Tuesday and I'm back with a brand new and maths video which I do every single Tuesday and if you want to see more of that then you can just go to my at maths made easy playlist on my channel and you'll see that I have a lot of maths video. I tackle one maths question per week and I highlight the important stuff that you would want to know if you want to like do well in maths. So do check that out. But this is today's question. Find the range of h of x squared minus 4x plus h if the equation has two different points. And if you have watched my previous video, I've introduced um, the types of roots to you guys. There are three types of roots. We have two real and different roots, two real and equal roots and no roots at all. So if you haven't watched that yet, you might want to check out that video where I talk about the different types of roots. But from that video, you would see that if an equation has two different points, the equation or expression that you want to remember is that b squared minus 4ac will be bigger than 0. Alright, so if an equation has two different points, you would automatically have to think of this, which is not difficult. You can think of this, but what does it mean by this is what you have to know and it's what I'm here to tell you about. So what do you mean by b squared minus 4ac? From where do you substitute in the value? So we will have to look at the original equation given first, which is this one x squared minus 4x plus h equals to 0. So from here, the a value is actually 1. In front of x, there is nothing, which means that there is always a 1. If it's just a single x, there's always a, a 1 in front of x. This is what you have to remember. And then b here would be the value in front of x, which is negative 4. And your c here, would be this value which is h it is actually unknown so now that you know what all these are you can substitute it into this equation b square negative 4 square minus 4 a c bigger than 0 so you're going to expand this and you'll get for 16 minus 4 h bigger than 0 now you want to move 16 over to the other side, negative 4h bigger than negative 16. Okay, this next step here is what you have to really take note of. Now you want to get the value of h, so you would have to take 16 and divide it by 4. So you get h on one side and you have negative 16 divided by negative 4 on the other side. And what I want you to take note of is the fact that you have to change the sign when you divide something by a negative. Okay, so because the 4 here has a negative, when you change and move it to the other side, you have to change the sign. From bigger than, you'll get smaller than. Okay, so if it was only 4 here and not negative 4, then you do not have to change the sign because it does not matter whether the numerator is positive or negative. You don't have to change the sign. But if the denominator over here is negative, then do make sure that you change the sign. This is something that I really want you to take note of because this is where people lose unnecessary marks because this is a very simple question and it's so easy to score full marks. But if you do not take note of this point, then you will lose like 2 or 3 marks because you can't get the exact right answer. So then you move on to the next step which is h smaller than 4. And this will be your final answer. So something that I want you to take away today is this thing right here. When you divide something by a negative number, if the denominator happens to be negative, then make sure that you do change the sign. This is so important. I can't stress this enough. And also, this is a very famously asked um, partial question. So take note of this. And another thing that I want to say is if you're unsure whether this sign is like smaller or bigger, then I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this. But if you're somehow always confused, this is a way to remember it. 
this is smaller than and why is it smaller than okay in bm smaller than means like kachil right so this is how i remember the k here this is smaller than and naturally this is bigger than so i just remember the k over here so this means that this is the sign for smaller than all right that's all for this week's video if you haven't already subscribe down below so that you can get notified for my next week's video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video